Well, those images goes without saying. We'll never leave the woman you're about to meet. Heather Heyer's mom, who has both the sad duty and the great privilege of carrying out her late daughter's legacy. Susan Bro now runs the Heather Heyer Foundation, a scholarship program for people with a passion for social justice. Susan, thank you so much for joining us. I, I know this is obviously a tough weekend. Any anniversary is difficult. First of all, just how, how are you holding up? How has this year been for you? I'm so busy doing interviews this weekend, I don't have much time to think. Uh, but a, a check came in the mail today for the estate of Heather Heyer, and I, those words always tear up my heart. I bawled like a baby for about 10 minutes, and then I pulled it together and said, okay, back to work. Um, and so that's how I'm getting through the weekend is I'm staying busy and then I'm gonna collapse Sunday night and collapse Monday and then Tuesday I'm back at work again because that's what you do you survive you you don't uh, you don't give up um, the past year has been surreal um, people like Spike Lee Bernie Sanders um, they know my name they have my phone number <laughs> you know uh, that's kind of crazy, and uh, yeah, uh, just I'm just really trying to push hard now. Though let's take the focus off of Heather, as Heather would want us to do. And it's been a year now, and let's focus on why she was there. Let's focus on what she died for. Let's focus on the issues that we have yet to resolve. With the Heather Heyer Foundation, I'm trying to find her replacements. I'm trying to pass that baton off, but I also want people to focus on the fact that we need to address the racial issues in our country. I'm, I'm wondering if you feel like your eyes were opened, not by just what happened to your daughter, but by the, the public displays that we saw in Charlottesville last year. People, you know, men marching through the streets with torches chanting, Jews will not replace us. And uh, attacking other, other people. That was insane. Um, I, I, I think it, those of us who weren't paying attention, sadly, that was a big shock. Those who were paying attention knew it was coming. Um, and it definitely snapped our heads around. Um, I'm sorry that somebody had to die before we paid attention, honestly, but you know, there are, are lots of people who were physically wounded, who were assaulted, who still, still are dealing with surgeries and still dealing with trauma, and some people will never recover from last year. And um, that was quite an assault on our soul as well. And um, hate is a nasty bit of acid to our psyche. and. We really need to not have hate in our, in our world. But the only way we're gonna do that is to fix the problems. We can't just spackle this over. If we just try to cover this over, if we try to rush into healing this, we're gonna be right back here in a few years. You've spent the, the last year uh, carrying on Heather's legacy of a new foundation, the Heather Heyer Foundation, stepping into right. to, to her activist shoes. What do you see, what do you want to have changed? What have you been fighting for? Well, I'm looking for those kids who are already motivated for positive change, for positive nonviolent change, and I'm saying, fine, I'll help your education, I'll help your training, I'll help give you practical experience. Um, I'm, I'm not trying to create activists. Some kids are automatically that way, and I'm looking for those kids, and we're looking to support their endeavors, to support their education, support their training. Virginia, as I said, Charlottesville are already, are already under states of emergency. People are on the edge right. from, from your city, the nation's capital. What, what would be your message to people this weekend? Don't let your guard down. Uh, be aware of your surroundings. Um, you don't need to be paranoid, but you need to be aware, and there is a difference. You don't need to live in fear, but you do need to live in a little bit higher state of alert. Um, this too shall pass and um, just realize that when people hate there are going to be problems and there's really no place for hate. I want to I want to ask you something I, that I read that and I want to I wasn't sure it's true I, I read that you've had to keep 
the, the location of Heather's grave secret because of concern that neo-Nazis would go there and deface it. Is that, is that true? Partly. Uh, the cemetery and I both agreed that there's no need for anybody to visit Heather's grave. They will just, you know, even well-wishers would end up trampling other people's graves. Some mistaken person would maybe break some things or deliberately. But I will tell you that um, Emmett Till's marker was just recently shot up. In fact, it gets shot up on a regular basis. Violet Liuzzo's marker was uh, not too long ago defaced. There are people in the world who will do stupid things like that. Um, one time, I don't think it's happened again because we called them out on it, but uh, one time there were uh, New Testament candles, flowers and things at Heather's Memorial and I went to visit and someone had urinated all over everything and had uh, left a note saying it's okay to be white again. So yes, there are people who will do stupid things like that. So we just, I just keep it private. The downtown memorial is where people can pay their respects. They don't need to bother her ashes. Susan Bro, I appreciate uh, all you're doing. I appreciate you talking to us tonight. Thank you, Anderson. So one quick final note on the foundation that Susan Bro runs and the scholarships it sponsors. If you want help, you can donate at the website heatherhirefoundation.com.